Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing State of Decay 2 on the GeForce GTX 1060 3GB. For performance monitoring this time I won't be using Cam since it's not currently working with Universal Windows applications, so in the meantime I'll be using MSI Afterburner. So State of Decay 2, I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4K. To skip down those sections of the video, check the description below. So well first of all I'll show you 1080p with the G4560 targeting 60 frames per second to see how the CPU performs overall and sometimes it drops the GPU usage a little bit which doesn't allow us to use the GPU at its maximum potential but it's not a big deal if you ask me we stay pretty much at 60 frames per second the big majority of the time then I switch to the i3-8100 and I show you the same configuration as on the G4560 so you can have an idea on what to expect after that I crank up the settings to the maximum to see what frame rate we get unfortunately I had to do some tweaking in order to get 60 frames per second even on the most demanding parts, which is a lot of grass. Then I do the same at 1440p, I show you two configurations, one trying to be as close as possible to 60 frames per second, then I just crank up the settings to the max. And finally at 4k, I show you just one configuration, trying to be over 30 frames per second as much as possible, which in order to do that, I had to overclock the GTX 1060 3GB, only at 4k, on the other resolutions the overclock is disabled, but unfortunately at 4k we run into some problems, more specifically the VRAM usage. As you'll see at 4K, it stutters way more than the other two resolutions. That's because the game uses more than 3 gigs of VRAM at 4K. So if you want to fix this, you might want to lower the settings significantly in order to get less VRAM usage. There's still some stutter there, so I recommend just using 1440p or 1080p instead of 4K. But if you have the 6 gig version of this card, you shouldn't have a problem. The game should be way smoother at 4K, since you will have twice the VRAM plus the 8% more performance due to the extra CUDA cores. So be aware of that. Also be aware that this game has some forced V-Sync onto it. At least it seems to be that way. If I'm below 60 frames per second, the game just hard lock at 30. And if I have a lot of GPU power to spare, the game just caps at 60 frames per second. So in order to fix that, just go into the NVIDIA control panel and into the 3D options, just disable B-Sync or just enable the fast sync option. That'll just allow you to get uncapped frame rates in this game without any other interruptions. But honestly, I recommend you cap the frame rate in this game. If not, it's very inconsistent. For example, you're looking into a place with a lot of foliage. Okay, you might get 40 frames per second, but then you look the other way around, maybe there are some buildings there, and it's like 65 FPS, so the game feels very inconsistent, especially if you're aiming something or just trying to flee, so my recommendation here is if you're trying to play at 30 frames per second, and you get 30 to 60, just cap it at 30 frames per second or 35, and if you're trying to get 60 frames per second and it stays between 60 and 80, or 60 and 100 frames per second, believe me, in this game can happen. Just cap the game at 60 frames per second. Again, that'll make the experience way more consistent because the frame rates can fluctuate quite a bit. So first of all, the most demanding settings so far were foliage draw distance, shadow quality, and amine occlusion quality. Those three options, if you lower them first, should give you the best performance boost, especially foliage draw distance. By just lowering that from ultra to high, you get a massive FPS boost in places with a lot of foliage. And that's what I'm visiting in the whole video, places with just a lot of grass and trees. Despite the options we have here, the grass draw distance is kinda poor, plus it's a huge performance hit, not sure what's up with that with the grass in this game. If you lower that to low, there is no grass whatsoever, so be aware of that. Then the shadow quality from ultra to high, another noticeable FPS boost, and I amine occlusion as well, by just lowering that from ultra to medium, for example, you get a very noticeable FPS difference. Then the other options I didn't mention, just lower them in groups, if you want a good FPS improvement from those because those individually don't make a huge performance difference and while there are a couple bugs with the options menu first of all the default quality you have low medium high and ultra that's usually just to change all the options to a preset despite changing the preset it also changes the internal rendering resolution of the game so for example if you are 1080p and put the default quality on ultra then each of the options individually are lower to low that means that you have the lowest settings plus the 1080p native resolution but if you just put the default quality on low despite having all the options on low you're not on 1080p anymore i'll just lower the resolution scale and the options as 
well, so be aware of that. In that case, it will mean that you will be below 1080p and with the lowest settings at the same time. So yeah, my recommendation here, just put the default quality on ultra and then lower the options that you want to lower individually so you don't have a lower resolution than native. And then the subsurface scattering option. When you put the ultra preset, it stays on high by default. And if I put it on ultra, get out of the options menu and go back in. The subsurface scattering option stays on high anyway, so you cannot go over high on that option. And in the video options, you have full screen, but if I put full screen, it'll take your desktop resolution to select the resolution of the game. So you cannot manually choose a resolution in game unless you go on winded mode. So in order to remedy that, just put full screen, it will stay on desktop resolution. Just minimize the game, go into the display settings in Windows, just right click on the desktop and change your resolution there. So if you put 720p on your desktop, the game will just switch to 720p automatically. And that should be about it. And this game is running on Unreal Engine 4 at the moment, exclusive to the Windows 10 store. Honestly, I think that it will be on Steam in a few months from now. So personally, I'll just wait for this game to be released on Steam. So you have more freedom on your game files and many other things because the Windows 10 store is just not good enough, at least in my opinion. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time. Careful. I wonder if that's actually blood I'm tasting in the air. Make sure it's dead. Oh, <sighs> 
that up. Hey, I found a few things while I was out. I wonder what makes plague zombies cluster in these areas. It's hard to believe this place was used by people once. Lake. I'm 
almost out. 